Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a wobbly toilet seat once and for all. So I've changed a lot of toilet seats for customers over the years, and they've always said to me, can you just put in a new toilet seat? And nine times out of ten, it's not the toilet seat that's the problem, it's probably got to do with the fittings, uh, either the rubber or the bolt. So I'm going to have a look at this one and see what the problem is. So the first thing we're going to do is just take the toilet seat off. And I know this is a, is a click system, which makes it a little bit simpler. And then the next thing we want to do is just pop the, this cap off. Uh, it can be a little bit, a little bit tight. There we go. And then we're just going to unscrew the bolt and washer and take out the, the screw. Now the problem with this one might be this bolt here. You can just see over there where it, it, the, the thread has been smoothed over. So here underneath most of your fittings you'll either have rubber. Uh, this particular one is made of rubber. I think what happens is where you're cleaning your toilets, some moisture gets underneath here, it tends to then start to slip around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give it a quick clean. Uh, just make sure there's no grease, greasy residue or liquid. And obviously you want to do both sides where, the, where it's making contact. There might be some sort of slippery residue on your rubber as well. So I have two options, silicone and carpet tape. And while silicone makes the most sense, it does take about 24 hours to dry. So in this case, I'm going to go with the carpet tape and I'm going to replace the old bolt for a new bolt. Okay, so you want to just make sure that's in the right place before you put him in. And then I've got a dry marker. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't lose my position. All right. And peel him off. Okay. I'm gonna try and peel him off and then we're gonna have to try and get him back in. And another thing I'm going to do is just put on some of this uh, plumbing PTF tape uh, just to stop the screw from working its way loose. I'm just going to run a little bit around here where the nut will end up. Now that that's done, I am going to reattach Get those dry marker lines off. So now we reattach the toilet seat and that should just click in place. Yep. And there you go. It seems to have worked a treat. And if it doesn't, I'm going to try the silicone but that will have to be for another day. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.